physically in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Children of God, our topic this evening is love for your enemy. Proverbs 25, verse 21. If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. Amen. 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 Brother Ben, your decision to disguise yourself is divine wisdom. And wisdom, the Bible says, is a defense. You have an excellent spirit in you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. My decision came as a result of my determination to find true love. You know what I've been through in the quest for a wife. And now I totally understand what my father means when he says many women, few wives. <laughs> yes, he's right. So, Pastor, as I continue in my search, I will make sure that I keep you updated so you can pray with me every step of the way. Uh, that's fine. By the time you finally find your heart's desire, you can, we must pray because... The spiritual controls the physical. Okay? Yes. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Heavenly Father, the Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by God. Order his footsteps in the search for his missionary. For his missionary, God. Do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
안 뜨면 안 해. 뜨면 안 해. 나만 구멍 들여 있을 만한. I I told you that I forgot my purse. I forgot my purse at home. See go see if you didn't watch. Na na Chris send it to you. You forget your post. I've been you can sign me. You not go pay me. I lie. Pay my money. I want come out. Please now. Go carry big bag. You no carry money inside. Don't be her fault now. When I pay me now, I want come out. Hello. Is there a problem? I forgot my purse at home, and he just won't understand. Madam, if you know what make a disgrace, I better pay me my make a come out. Don't do, don't do, don't do. How much is the fare? Two hundred naira. Just thank your God. See this man save you. Now, now, tia, 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 for just tia you today. You go enter bus, you carry money. Come out. Okay, let's go. God bless. Thank you, thank you so much. It's God that just brought you to come and deliver me from the embarrassment. Thank you. Hardly a night, but oh, thank you all the same. You're welcome. I just pray that God will replenish you with every every single penny you spent on me today, and may God give you everything you ask for. Ah, great. Amen. I think I'm going to start by asking him what your name is. My name is Nora, silly me. Nora, I'm Bennett. They, they got my hands are dirty. Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, my friends call me Ben. Uh, I was just wondering if uh, you won't mind if I get your number so I can call sometime. Say no, I'll, I'll give it to you. 0803-461-4191. Yeah. So I'll just um, call you. Yeah. All right, then. So, um, Nora, I hope you won't mind. I know that um, you're probably not exactly very rich right now. <laughs> Neither am I, but uh, <laughs> let me just, um, please allow me to give you something too. Sorry. No, I'm just no, it's okay, it's okay. This is all I can spare. But don't worry now, I'm right. fine. It's okay. it's I'm fine, Bennett. It's, it's okay, it. just so that that doesn't repeat itself. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. Right, so go ahead and have a great day. Thank you. Nice God to meet you. you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Ben, I don't know how to say this to you. But it's barely two months since we met. No, honestly, I think two months is enough time to get to know someone really well. Men scare me, Ben. Why is that? Life has dealt me its cards and has left me deeply scarred. I'm going to say this again. Nora, I'm not here to con you. That's why I laid all my cards on the table, so you can know exactly where I'm coming from and exactly where I'm going with all this. Please marry me. I promise I will spend every day of my life just creating means of making you a very happy woman. So you mean she has not accepted up to now? No, Pastor. She always sounds scared. Scared? Of what? Men, I guess. She seems to me like someone who's been through a lot of heartache and disappointments. Brother Ben. Yes, Pastor. I have a strong conviction in my inner mind that that lady is your wife. Hmm. Is a treasure. The way I see her spiritually. 
right now, she is very far away from God because she believes that God abandoned her when she needed him most. So, what am I supposed to do now, Pastor? Don't relent. Keep asking. For those who ask, receive. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you because it is your way. Then you haven't told me where you're taking me to. Well, the most important thing is that you trust me enough to follow me to an unknown destination. But Nora, yes? I need to ask you something. Yes? Do you love me? You know I do. But not enough to marry me. I told you I was thinking about it. Nora, I've been convinced that you're my wife from the very first moment I met you. And that assurance hasn't changed. I promise I'll make you very happy. Just think about it, pray about it, do something. Okay, I'll pray about it. Let's just going. Let me step on it. <laughs> when you know your car can go faster. <laughs> so that okay, just watch me fly like the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Due to our welcome once more. Well, this is Miss Nora. Did you be right? Yes, Pastor. Alright. Miss Nora, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. You see, marriage between two people can be very good or bad, depending on how the foundation is laid. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 11, verse 3, that if the foundation be destroyed, what would the righteous do? See what I mean? Every marriage foundation is supposed to be laid in God as the chief cornerstone, the pillar, and the stronghold. That's why it's good to seek counsel before any marriage contract is consummated. Thank you very much. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Also something that I'd like to discuss with you, um, just before now. Okay. I really am sorry. Daddy, how can you? How can you take me there? I'm sorry. How can you take me to your pastor? Well, look at how I'm dressed. I no, 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 that's even the wrong question. How could you bring me here without seeking my consent? I just wanted to show you how serious I am about you. I. I you, I'm sorry. Just take, me away, just take me away from here. It's okay. We'll just... No, you... Take me straight to my hostel. Okay, we'll, we'll go. But please don't forget he asked... Well, if you say another word, I'm going to pick up a taxi from here. You're welcome, Tony. Hello. Hmm. Don't mind Ben, he's totally incorrigible. But come on, this is because you are a treasure to behold and to be held. Wow, she's beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have eyes with Ben. What numbers want to know? <laughs> so, um, why have you been delaying Ben? Ask her. I haven't. I've just been, you know, taking my time and being cautious. Yeah, I can understand that. 
most ladies like taking their time. I'm sure you know what my answer would be, Ben. I wish I did. Hey, girl! Hey, Agatha! <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? I should be asking you that question. Well, I and my friend came to see his um, girl. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ben! Oh, yeah. <laughs> ben, hi. How are you? You're welcome. Thank you. You're joy, you know, no ra. Agatha is my cousin. Really? <laughs> Do you mind if I help you with this? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's go to my room. Um. So, oh, well, you guys catch up then. Yeah. What are you doing with that rich? Well, I, I just met him recently uh, when I went to get some supplies from a business partner. He actually works with him. He's he's errand boy. <laughs> But surprisingly, he's been giving me contacts. People who give me goods on credit. Yeah, she said he's an errand boy. Of course. So one of your business partners. Yes. <sighs> Tony. Tony, why would you stoop so low to, to make up with that kind of guy? <laughs> I wonder what my friend is doing with him. And you know what? When he told me we should come and see his bib, I never knew he's this queen. <laughs> he's so beautiful. I got her. I want out. Love no, your talking. Ah, ah. I do know my brother again. <laughs> he wants a beautiful girl, but he doesn't have a beautiful pocket. You know, the one that pisses me off is the Gura Gura car he comes here, you know. Hey! Poverty. So, what has she said about him? Because from the discussion, she has not accepted him. Don't mind her. She's falling in love with him already because he's a graduate. You see, graduates. What? Graduates? Am I not a potential graduate? <laughs> graduates without money. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's be serious. So, how are we going to handle this now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust me, yeah, but you know now. I know you're yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> Your best friend, leave me alone. Look, 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 look. Look, look, Nora, Nora, calm down, calm down. What is Ben to you? That's none of your business. Look, be reasonable. I'm in love with you. Oh, God, use another line. I'm tired of that one. Nora, I love you. Agreed. Ben says he wants to marry you. But have you bothered to find out if he has a stable job to take care of himself, let alone you? I am aware of all that. Look, Nora, marry me. Oh, Tony! Ah! The very first time I, I saw you, I knew you were meant for me. You are my wife! Look, I understand. Be quick. Let us see. You are my wife! No, no, I do not want to insult you! Leave me alone! Just leave me alone! Baby, baby, baby. What is going on here? Nora, what is it? Tony? Uh, nothing. I guess I have to take my leave now. See you later. Nora, what is it? Why are you crying? No, it's not, it's not. Can you imagine, can you imagine Tony coming to ask me to marry him? Isn't it enough to make any woman cry? Why is it any time I want to get married? Any time there's someone. Why am I so unlucky? Any time I'm about to get married, there's always an obstacle. And what do you mean by any time? Is it not just Joe's case? I want to be on my own. You want to be left alone so that you can go and call your Ben and tell him what just happened. Listen, girl, I will not deceive you. We've been best friends since our childhood days. Ben is not the right man for you. He's a nobody. Is that why you think he's not good enough for me? 
You need a man that can take care of you. A man that will take care of your family. A man that will make you, you know, feel like a woman. A man that... I, I that... think men can't do that. I'm sorry, girl. But he can't. He doesn't have what it takes. He's got what it Agatha. Who says? Look, you have to be all top Nora. Tony, you say your intentions towards me are genuine. But you're Ben's friend. This guy you call my friend. I just met him recently. But the fact still remains that I met you through him. And you don't know he has asked me to marry him. Have you accepted? I'm thinking about it. I'm praying as well, but you're coming here just to come and spoil things. How do you mean? I need to stay focused. I, I, I need, I need, I, I can't afford to dilly dally. Look, I want you to understand something. You see, I, I'm deeply in love with you. I love you, Nora. Love? Yes. But I don't hate you either. It, it's just that... The circumstances surrounding us. Everything is destined by God. Just, just understand. Tony, what are you doing here? Nora? Nora? Here. Hey, you're raising your voice. I'm going to be raising my fist in a second. If you don't tell me what's going on, someone needs to tell me what's going on here. Please take it easy. You need to calm down. Look, Ben, I understand you're desperately in search for a wife. But come to think of it, this girl here is too good for you. You can't even take care of her. What? Just leave the poor girl alone. I was when I'm not around. And then you stand here telling me what or what is not good for me. What? Ben, please, you need to calm down. It's not what you think it is. Nora, you heard him. What is it? Ben, calm down. I will not calm down to this low life scrip. Just leaves this room. What? Did I hear you call me a creep? Me? I don't speak. I don't blame you, Ben. Is it because I've stooped so low as to hanging out with you that you think we're now equals? Okay. Get out. And what happens if I don't get out? Is what? Ben, Ben, please, 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 both of you just leave. Just leave. I'll talk to you later and take your friend with you. It's not my friend. It's not my friend. You mean all that happened here yesterday? <laughs> I'm tired of being confused, I tell you. So, have you said yes to Ben? Have you? Now, don't tell... Okay, fine. Even if you have, you must deny and reject him. Agatha! Yes! You must! I mean, Ben is poor and jobless. He's a common errand boy to Tony's business partners, Nora. He's... He's educated. And he's a graduate. I mean, that can turn out to be a big lie tomorrow. If he were educated, he would have gotten himself a job. Or, you know, set up something. And not run errands for his mates. I believe all that would change. People start from somewhere. Like a family. Did you? I love Ben. I've grown to love him. And for Tony, I just like him. Good! You like him. I mean, you will grow to love him. Yeah! As for Ben, it's no. Hello, ladies. How are you? Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I used to have a today. 
I just go somewhere. Yes! <laughs> so. Okay, but um, <laughs> thank you very much, but um, you know, we're not we're not dressed for it. So I mean, we could go change. Or... Um, Ben, just wait out, wait by your car, okay? Right. We'll meet you there. All right, see you soon. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll be downstairs. No way. I am not going. Agasa. How do you expect me to, to ride in that gura gura car? No. Agasa, you're my friend. Please do this for me. I can't. Agasa, I'm in love with the man. No, right? The, the seats will tear my dress. You are my friend. For a friend. Agasa. with the guessing game oh. now. Tell me, who? I saw Joe. Mm. Your Joe? Joe. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Oh, enough of the joke. Look at oh, the joke. you know I can joke with some things. Come on. No, no. You, you, you're pulling my legs, aren't you? No kidding. Okay. Hold on. Always be I accepted your proposal because I love you, Jim. I just want to tell you that I'm not Let's get going. Um, I'll drop you on the way because I'll just have to go to the But remember, you have to be at the night office to know how to have the money. Yes, I do, but you know, I guess I need to get, I need to get her the money for the um, accessories for the meet of money. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's more way I can leave this. I'll give you everything. Let's go. Do you think it's just a myth that says the man shouldn't see the wedding dress? Mm. He's traveling, he's always traveling from country to country. <laughs> no. But <laughs> I'm curious. Why? Business is business. That's where the money comes from. Business. Oh. <laughs> well, as long as you can cope with it. <laughs> well, really, I can't. I need to be around my man. I, I like love to him. Them. I love him and deal with it. <laughs> mm. Okay, so. Another well, dress. I no, oh, maybe I should wear black. black. Oh! <laughs> I like this one though. It's sort of very. Um, Which one? It's not for virgins. <laughs> like I'm a good girl. girl. Milo, I am very grateful to God and you for this journey. I never knew it would be this easy. <laughs> well, to God be the glory. Um, you see, we have this saying in my place that if a soup is deliciously prepared and you have well pounded, pounded yam of white fufu to go with it, 
everybody will be willing to partake in the meal. What am I saying? For young people that have decided to come together as husband and wife, we should give them our support, our approval. Yeah, your son here says that he wants everything done the same day. Um, uh, wife wedding and then traditional wedding. Very good. The only is now me to get back to the village and inform my kinsmen. Yeah, like I said, two young people who decide to come together. Ours is to give them our support and approval. So, shall we drink to the success of this marital story? Uh, uh. <coughs>
case of mistaken identity. No, I even asked your parents. I even spoke to Steve. Yes, I told him to. I told him not to tell you my whereabouts. It. I thought it was going to take one hour, but things just took a different turn. And I still love you, baby. I love you. Joe, six months. Where have you been? Please just listen to me. Please just listen to me. It's not what you think. Uh, Agatha, take this man out of my room. Agatha, please let me just explain myself, baby. Please just don't do this to me, please. <laughs> Please, help me, please. You know what? I mean, if you're not... Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't! Look, this is really going to be very difficult. Even breaking you here is so difficult. Come on, it's, it's, it's enough trouble already. In all this, brother Ben, what does Nora say? Excuses is all I get. She says she's praying about you. She says this. I, I really honestly relax, don't. Relax, brother Ben, relax. The Lord has given his people good inheritance. A land flowing with milk and honey. Though not an easy trip. But the good news is that you must arrive safely. Amen. Okay? Amen, Pastor. But three men to one woman. I honestly think that maybe I should reveal my true self to her. No, 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 my son, not now. You will appear a deceiver if you do so now. I want you to remember in all this that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord, okay? Right? You fall on your knees. Here on the altar and speak to your father in heaven. He hears you. Right? I'll be with you.
Oh God, why this now? I am so confused, but I still love Joe even though he hurt me. Don't you say in the word that we should forgive those that offended us? Oh Lord, please take away Ben, but not Joe and Tony. Make a choice for me, oh God, between Joe and Tony. I've grown to love Ben, but God, what of Joe? He was there before Ben, even Tony. My daughter, you say you now have three suitors. Yes, Daddy. That of course reminds me. Um, Joseph was here the other day with his people. What? Yes, my daughter. He came here, telling your father how sorry he was. And what did you say to him? Well, I told him how bitter we were, and the embarrassment it cost his family. He mellowed down by apologizing and all that. And he said he came visiting at your school. Did, did he do that? Yes, he did. But I didn't even listen to him. And ever since, he's been coming every day. He even slept outside my room the other night. You don't mean it. Anyway, that's not, that's not my business. All I want to know is, do you still love him? Daddy, I don't know. I want an answer. Darling, please. Take it easy on her. Daddy, three men. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't you have a mind of your own? Why can't you say something and own up to it? Daddy, I loved Joe very much. Mm -hmm. I am in love with Ben now. But Tony, I don't have strong feelings for him. I just like him. It's okay, my daughter. Hmm? Just give it some time. Hmm? Mommy, time. Time is one thing they don't want. Everyone wants to get married now, 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 now. <laughs> that is why you should ask them to see me at the same time. Daddy. Nora, listen to your father. Three men, Daddy. Then make a choice. Be bold enough to make a choice. And let me ask you: Assuming Joseph did not surface, who would you have settled for? Daddy, I don't know. I don't know. It's all so confusing. I want a way out. The onus is now on us to decide for you. Yes. We're not going to choose a husband for you. Does that suit you? Yes, my daughter. Just leave everything to us. We'll take care of it. Okay? okay. Like that happened these days. Parents help their children choose husbands, especially when they're confused, like you. <laughs> but really, I believe one of those men is your husband. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Joe, how could you? How could you go see my parents without my consent? Baby, but they were my in laws. I didn't only offend them, but I offended you as well. No, 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 no then go marry my mother. Excuse me. No, 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 no. I guess you wait and listen to all I've got to say to him. Baby, listen to me back. Hi, Nora. Baby, who the hell is this? I should be asking you who the hell you are. Do you know who I am? My name is Joe. Do you understand me? Don't you bloody care. If you know who I am, if you mess with me, eh? Trust me. He has the guts to hold my suit! Gentlemen, yes. Gentlemen, yes. Talk to me, please. What's, what's going on here? Gentlemen, whatever is the cause of this situation, 
Please take it outside. You're causing her some like, aggravation, please. Baby, who is this dude? And Ben, how the arms? I think you guys are all just going crazy. I just can't stand this anymore. You're all crazy! All of you! You two are mad! Get out of no, 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 it's okay, it's He just, he just, my dad just, just, just called me and told me that yeah. Tony came to the house mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. And that he's given them a date. Date for what? For my bride price. Woo! You go, girl! Oh! Wow! Aren't you lucky? Whose side are you on, Agatha? Are you willing to? Give me off to some man that I'm not in love with. Were you not the one that told him to go see your father? Oh, Agatha, because I was confused, totally confused. I went to the wise man, my father, to ask for, to ask him for wisdom. What did he come up with? I should ask three men to come, and now Tony goes. Tony. Who's suffering now? You. What are you talking about? I mean, Tony's all right. I mean, he's the right man for you. Who would you rather be with? I don't know. Don't say that. I thought you liked Tony. Like a pretty boy. Like Come on, you can grow to love him. Tony is a wonderful person. You have a husband there. I'm happy for you, Was Sorry? Mm, I was just thinking aloud. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, the wedding I'm gonna wear pink dress, Tony weds Laura. <laughs> oh my god! Daddy, that was not the best. Nora, let me ask you, what do you know about marriage? As to question me whether, whether what I did was right or wrong. But Daddy, you asked me to call three men for you. And I did. I never imagined you would further complicate my life by asking men I haven't even chosen to come and pay my bride price. Just relax, my daughter. Relax. All you do for me is to Invite Bennett and Joseph that I want to see them. That's all you do for me. Daddy, but you haven't even told me what you want to do with those men. Not to worry. I will tell you as time goes on. Just relax. Calm down. I am your father. I know what I'm doing. In fact, I'm in charge. So, you don't have any problems. Agatha, I don't, I don't know. You just, I don't know why you won't understand. What do you want me to tell you? Nora, of course I understand. I mean, if I don't understand and if I don't care, I won't be here asking you why you've been missing lectures. My mom just called me and told me that Joe has been to see Dad. So? He gave him the same date. What? You mean 24th July? That exactly. 
What is he up to? I don't know. I think... I, I don't know. I think my dad just wants to ruin me. Oh. He's just done it. I don't know. Ooh, this is tough. Look, I think you should go see your mom. I mean, she's a woman like you. Talk to her. Find out what he's up to. Why do you think she called? I mean, the phone call, she said, Oh, Nara, come home. That's why I'm going. <laughs> The guys will really think you're up to something because I'm sure they are not aware they have been given the same date. <laughs> you have to hurry up before your father gives Ben the same date too. In big trouble. Mommy, Daddy is making things difficult for me. How could he give Joe and Tony the same day and same time to come? My dear, I have tried to talk to your father, but he is adamant. Maintaining he must have it his own way. But Mommy, what does he intend to achieve by asking all of them to come on the same day? This thing is really troubling me. Mommy, I'm beginning to lose my mind. I'm losing my mind. Mommy, if people are not careful, if people are not careful. Hmm. No, you, my angel, um, you don't talk like that. You don't talk like that. Then mommy, talk to daddy. Mommy, talk to daddy. Talk to daddy about what? I overheard you. Hmm? I have told both of you that I know what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm serious about it. But you wouldn't listen to me. You wouldn't understand either. Huh? A man decides on what he feels best without necessarily explaining most times. Even when what he does threatens the life of his only child? Of course I wouldn't expect a repeat of the nonsense that happened the last time. When Joseph or whatever he comes to tell him bars his family. Huh? As I speak with you, I don't even know how, how serious each, each of them is. That's why I gave them the same day, the same time. So on that day I'll be able to, 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 to find out. Daddy, you mean you asked Joe and Tony to come on the same day, same time. Today is the 20th, Daddy. Yeah. You asked Tony to come on the 24th. Yes, even this morning, Bennett came to my office and asked him to come with his people. Oh. 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 Jesus! No, you can't do this. can't do this, I was just head. teaching the poor woman how to compile contact agreements into one file. Really? Lecturer. 